So how did you guys enjoy, enjoy the trip? Two thumbs up. If I had more, they'd be there too. It was a great trip. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Elfie. It was an amazing <laughs> trip. I loved sitting on the front of the bow and watching the world go by. I loved when we saw and those dol oh. dolphins. Uh, <laughs> and watching you guys work together on the boat was really great. Thanks so much for including us on this portion. <laughs> Bye! See you later! Thanks again! passage into Fisher Channel which turns into I think Fitzhugh Sound as we go south. There's tidal current to deal with here of course and floods down to a, a spot called Fog Rocks and then it floods up to that spot. This is in Fisher Channel. Uh, to the same spot, Fog Rocks, and then it amps. So kind of like Grenville Channel. We're almost at high water, but we're experiencing a little bit of flood against us now in Lama Passage. So I think it must flood down and into Lama Passage because we were getting a push earlier, but we're not right in the middle of the tide cycle, trying to hit it near slack. And we had a bit of a late start. Uh, saw Brent and Joan off, dropped them off in Shearwater. And a beautiful day. There's a little bit of wind behind us, so we're going to probably roll out our head sail and catch some of that. And we'll see if there's enough to sail and turn the motor off. But it's not a lot of wind, it's just a little bit. So we'll see if it can help us a bit, motor sail a bit. But it's looking to be a really nice day out.
So you made it to a beautiful place. Yeah, one of my favorite places on the coast. It's the West Beach, just opposite of Pruth Bay. That's where we're anchored. And that's the location of the Hakai Research Institute. And they study, uh, they do a long-term study of an area. That's their goal. And they're privately funded uh, through a VC organization I saw on the sign. And they have university students coming up. They offer courses, I think, here. It's a beautiful lodge. And you're allowed to tie your dinghy up to their dock. And they have very well-marked trails. So, hiking for dummies. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying everyone's dummies, just it's uh, so well marked and so well groomed that if you got lost, uh, it would be shocking. Yeah, it comes to West Beach, and then there's some trails that connect to all the way up to 7th Beach, I think I saw on the map. And I think Rand Sailing was here after we saw them last August. They stopped here, and I think I remember they went for a swim in the ocean. We're not going to do that today, but... Uh, I think I remember that episode where they went swimming. But it's, it's beautiful. The sand is like powder. It's really white and a pretty magical place on BC's coast. It's along the inside passage. You just have to detour slightly to get to it. So if you look up for Hakai Pass, uh, any information on that, you'll find out how to get here. And is it a popular anchorage? It's a pretty popular spot. Pruth Bay because it's so well protected. It's about 50 feet of water and yeah I think you're you're protected from pretty much anything. Maybe an easterly would give you a bit of wind but it's a really nice little spot to anchor and it's a good spot to stop after you've crossed Queen Charlotte Sound if you're heading north or if you're heading south it's a nice spot to stop uh, before you cross Queen Charlotte Sound going south. And we're going to spend a couple days here, so get a, a, a day of rest tomorrow. We've been on the move every day. I think we did over 40 miles again today. And yeah, we're ready for a day of rest, and I can't think of a better place to have a day of rest. So what's happening here? Oh, well we have finished dinner tonight and I'm just making up some pizza dough uh, that we're going to have for dinner tomorrow night. 
So because we're spending the day on anchor, we can let it sit and it will do all of its work overnight. Doesn't have to go in the fridge, doesn't have to go in the oven or, you know, to heat up. Um, and hopefully tomorrow this will be bubbling and dough-like and then we can have a tasty dinner. So I'm just going to cover it up, put it on the counter and see what it looks like tomorrow afternoon. And the plan is if we make pizza tomorrow, mm. the following day is a long day because we have to hopefully cross Queen Charlotte Sound. Yep. And we can have leftover pizza. Exactly. Leftover pizza for lunch, man, maybe even dinner is going to be great. So this pizza will make you and I each our own personal pizzas uh, with lots for tomorrow and the next day. It's going to be tasty. And we've got tasty toppings. <laughs>